So here we will be making homemade fettuccine pasta. The ingredients you need is roughly around two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. You need a few cups of water and you also need roughly around a teaspoon of salt. You're going to add your all-purpose flour to the food processor. You're going to go ahead and add your salt and you're going to place your lid on here. And you're just going to go ahead and mix this together get it well incorporated. I'm just going to run that for a few seconds. And as that's running, you're going to go ahead and slowly and gradually add water. The consistency that you're looking for is a sort of crumbly consistency. And right when it begins to form into one solid ball, into, or a majority of it, it forms into like a ball, it's kind of sticky, but at the same time, it comes off clean off of the sides of the wall. Uh, it doesn't stick to your hand real bad. That's the consistency that you want. So right here, I see that it's catching really well. It's starting to form together as one. That's the consistency that I want. Put that to the side. Go ahead and take this out. And we're going to knead this for roughly around 8 to 10 minutes. You want this to be nice, soft, and smooth. You'll just continue to knead. And you'll notice that all the air and stuff like that, those air pockets are leaving out of there. You activating that gluten that's in that flour and it's just going to start getting softer and more elastic. Then you're going to go ahead and form this into a ball. Now normally I would set this to the side and allow it to rest but this one I didn't. I just went ahead and immediately started to roll this out. Flour my surface real nicely. Flour my hands. Put a little bit of flour on the dough. And I begin to roll this out. Nicely just press this on out. Once you've achieved your desired length, I went ahead and cut mine into just three sections. Uh, this is my very first time making pasta, homemade pasta, so bear with me. I'm just showing you how I ended up doing it. And I floured those three pieces and I'm slowly running this on the second to the highest setting or lowest setting on the roller. And I'm just slowly running this through. And it's gradually stretching it. We're gonna roll this in. We're gonna roll this through that same setting maybe about three or four times before we uh, move to the next setting. And look at how smooth that is. All right, so this is on a smaller setting. This is probably on four. I think the first one was on maybe seven. So we dropped down to roughly about a four right now. I'll drop the link for, the, for this in the description where I got it from. We're gonna go ahead and put our crank into the fettuccine cut and Move this to the side and we're going to run this very slowly through the fettuccine cut. I'm not sure what it's actually called, but I just know that it kind of resembles like a fettuccine. And the other one is just a little smaller, kind of resembles either hot like spaghetti or like ramen. But I just want to take my time, makes it easier on cleanup and it helps it not get kind of stuck. If you have issues, you can flour it a little easier if you just take your time. Just pulling out that dough. And there you have it. Some homemade fettuccine noodles. So I'm going to place these on a few skewers. And I'm going to place these skewers into like a tall pitcher that I have at home. I don't really have anywhere like officially that I can hang my pasta up for a few days. And allow it to do its thing and dry. So place it in here for a few hours until I'm ready to prepare it. And I'll be cooking this later on tonight, making some uh, fed homemade fettuccine alfredo for my wife for dinner. Got my water boiling here. I'm gonna grab one skewer and slowly add that in. You're gonna cook these roughly around four minutes. Fresh pasta doesn't take nearly as long at all to cook. Four, maybe five minutes, and you're guaranteed good to go. We just set that pasta in there. Look at that, just easy. Slides right off. It's been about four minutes here, and we're getting ready to take this out, strain it, and sauce it up. Look at that. That looks amazing. Homemade, vegan, fettuccine Alfredo. Subscribe to our channel, guys, and I will catch you guys soon.